हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर विजयंत गोविंदा गुप्ता एंड आई एम अ फोर स्किन एंड अ जेड एस आर सोकम सीजन स्पेशलिस्ट इन न्यू डेली इंडिया टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट अ कंडीशन कॉल्ड एज डायबिटिक बेलेनोपोस्थाइटिस एंड व्हाई दिस रिक्वायर्स ट्रीटमेंट एंड वाई जेड एस आर सोकम सीजन इज द बेस्ट वे टू ट्रीट दिस प्रॉब्लम और दिस जेंटलमैन एज यू कैन सी इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम डायबिटिक बेलेनोपोस्थाइटिस now this condition is characterized by seven problems one is the foreskin becomes tight there are cuts that come on the foreskin like this gentleman there is collection of white material or smegma uh, the frenulum becomes tight and scarred sex becomes painful and urination becomes problematic this condition will usually occur in diabetic men and uh, the diabetes may be well controlled but once the condition sets in it is usually progressive that means that it continues and with time the problem gets worse and worse now there are a lot of skin specialists and lot of people who will tell you that clean your foreskin control your diabetes apply antifungals apply steroids and you will get rid of this problem but let me be very frank with you that diabetic balanopostitis is not occurring due to infection the main cause is the high blood sugar levels which basically make the blood supply of the distal foreskin very 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 thin because of this blood supply becoming very thin the foreskin tends to get edematous swells up and this causes the recurrent cuts that keep happening uh steroids local ointments moisturizers hygiene antifungals and sugar control are just steps that will maybe ward off the acute phase for some time but every time the patient tries to have sex the problem is going to come back so the best solution and the only solution for the long term treatment of diabetic bilanitis is a circumcision or removal of the foreskin now the traditional foreskin removal that requires stitches and it requires cuts tends to be very traumatic very a uh, lot of bleeding takes a lot of time to heal the foreskin tends to really swell up and become like a uh, like a brinjal so what we do now at my practice is a zsr circumcision a regular cosmetic zsr circumcision usually does not have any bleeding at all but because as you see in this condition there is a lot of swelling redness previous cuts inflammation so definitely there will be some amount of bleeding as compared to a conventional regular zsr circumcision but still the time taken and the amount of blood loss is nothing compared to the conventional stitch technique here the patient under local anesthesia the patient is a diabetic with a heart disease but he does not require any anesthesia at all we have given him local anesthesia the patient is comfortable we have already opened up the procedure there is a bit of bleeding but that bleeding is bound to happen because of the amount of infection that this patient has but now once we have applied our clamp the bleeding is completely going to stop so we have put in our anvil we have put in a size larger we have now tightened the zsr and now after cleaning there will not be a single drop of blood more so a zsr is actually the best treatment for diabetic bilanitis it is quick it is painless it is bloodless there are no scars the ring falls off on its own and once healed this problem will not happen in a diabetic man ever again so if you are a diabetic and you have the problems of recurrent cuts painful intercourse problems with urination the skin getting closed collection of white material collection of smegma then the best solution for you would be a zsr circumcision now in this gentleman he is i think around 45 48 years old his blood sugar was 300 plus 300 mg per deciliter plus when he came to us we gave him a 5 days course of antibiotic asked him to clean the area well with a mild soap and he came back to us with his blood sugar in the 200 and less range we are performing the surgery for him today we will let him go home the same day he will come back for a dressing tomorrow and in 12 days he will be completely healed here you can see that this is actually the old collected blood there is no fresh bleeding 
now we are going to just uh, the surgery is over we just going to hold the staple line or the silicon ring for around 15 to 20 seconds and then the surgery is done so if you have this problem then the zsr technique is the best technique for you we don't put any stitches the frenulum also is not bleeding at all the surgery is perfect there may be a little bit of ooze the that ooze will settles down by the morning when the dressing is opened and as you can see now we have done the surgery the smegma has been cleared and the patient will be fit and fine in the next 10 days thank you for watching subscribe and like the video and share it with your friends take care and i'll come back with more informative content with time take care